Hi, my name is Jessica. I'm part of the co-founding and co-organisation team for the DUD East Midlands Conference based in the UK. This is a not-for-profit generalised technology conference welcoming talks from all walks and experiences within technology. Today in this video, I would like to go through our submission process. So if we head over to ddeastmidlands.com, this is the homepage that you will see. On our navigation bar, there is a button for submit a talk. If we click this, this takes us through to Sessionize. It takes a couple of minutes to load. Sessionize is the tool that we're using for talk submission and organization. It's a very handy tool for free and paid for conferences and in our case free. On the right hand side, there's some information for you to look through. It has the date of the event, the location and a link to our website. I would recommend looking through the about section on the DDD East Midlands website and reading through some of our blog posts as well on blog.ddeastmidlands.com. We have a lot of information about the event, how we run, why we run in this way, and some information about previous talks as well. On the bottom section on this right hand side, it has some information for the speakers, including the dates in which the call for speakers is open, a link to our code of conduct, which I highly recommend reading through, and some information about how your talk titles and descriptions will be shown. We will not show any information about you to our attendees unless you're selected to speak at the conference, at which point we will share things such as your bio and your picture. So let's have a look at the left hand side of this page. The first section is about submitting your session. As it says at the top, you're allowed up to five submissions to the conference. That's five different options for you to be selected as a speaker, which is kind of great. If you are selected and more than one of these talks is popular, we will select the top voted talk for you. So you won't be expected to give more than one talk at the conference itself. Next is the details about the talk itself, starting with the session title. This is your talk title. Keep it short and descriptive. The description is arguably one of the most important sections on this form. Attendees will read your description to decide if this is a talk they want to see. It will determine why your talk is different from others in this area, what your attendees might take away from it and what you are actually talking about. So be careful when writing a description. You want it to be short, but not so short that you don't have the information the attendees will need in order to know if this is a talk that they want to see. This is the advert for your talk. Next is the level. This is the level at which you want your attendees to be in order to understand what you're talking about. Is your talk introductory? Is it starting from the very beginning? Or is it more advanced? Do they need some baseline requirements in which to understand what you're talking about and be able to follow your presentation? It may be worth in your description saying what that prerequisite knowledge might want to be. Next is session format. There are different lengths of talks available at DDD East Midlands from the 60 minute talk right away through to a 15 minute lightning talk. You can submit more than one length of talk if your talk is adaptable. The tag section is for filtering. So when we show your, the talk titles and descriptions of the different talks available to attendees, they can filter down by their areas of interest. We have a lot of talks submitted. So this is to help that selection process a little bit. If you do select other, please do put down what your other tags might be. We will try to include these tags in later conferences so that we don't miss areas of interest. The notes section will only be shown to organizers. This is to help us know if there's anything that you might need to create a great presentation, but also please do share with us if you've given this talk elsewhere and how that's gone down. That's all there is for your talk. Next is about you. First of all, we'd like to know your name. Then there is the section for speaker tagline. This can be your job title and company if you wish, or it can be something with a bit of personality about you. I tend, I've gone from everything from lead developer to putting down that I'm a coffee fueled hobbit because I'm short and I like caffeine. Entirely up to you. Our conference is quite casual. This is something we'll put underneath your photo and name when we are sharing who has been selected for DDD East Midlands. Your speaker biography will tell us a bit about you. You can relate this to your talk to show why you're talking about what you are. But it can also be a short CV about yourself. 
A speaker biography will also be shared if you are selected for the conference and not beforehand. We do have a section in our blog about how to write a good biography, so feel free to have a read through that. This speaker photo is a photo of yourself. Again, it will only be shared if you are selected for speaking at DDD East Midlands. Please do try to keep it a photo of only you, as it can be quite confusing if the photo has a group of people for our attendees to know which one is you and how to recognise you. The links underneath are entirely optional. The reason for them is we will share them on our social media posts and on our website so that people can find out more about you and follow you on your adventures in technology. The final few questions are for us as organisers. So first of all, can we pass your details on to local meetups? There's no pressure around this, but if you are interested, we would be happy to share your talk and your details, whether you're selected or not, to the meetups in the local area around the East Midlands. Meetups are always looking for great speakers, and we would love to share your details with them so they can get in touch and you can speak there. For speaking experience, this is for our statistics. We would like to know if we are getting new speakers into the speaking pool for conferences and meetups. We offer various support for our speakers, which I will get to, but this does not go against your application. Just because you have less experience doesn't mean that you're less likely to get selected. This experience is not shared with attendees, it's purely for the organisers to look at and know how we can improve. For interest and support, we will try and provide support depending on our funding for speakers. So please let us know if there is any form of support that you might be interested in. Again, doesn't go against you for your submission. It's for the organisers to know what support we can lend to you. For preferred pronoun, please do fill this in. It is optional, but it's for us to know how we should correspond with you, what we should be sharing on our social media in terms of your pronouns, and we'd like to normalise the sharing of pronouns for various beneficial reasons. The new section to this form is, do you plan to have a COVID vaccine? We are trying to do our utmost in order to ensure that our conference is safe for everybody. As such, we will require that attendees and speakers have the COVID vaccine before the event. We understand that you might not have it now, but we would like to know that you intend on having the vaccine. The co-speaker section is if you want anyone to present with you and you'd have to let us know who that person is so that we can get in contact with them. And then finally, there's the tick box for GDPR reasons on agreeing to share your data with us and on selection, some of this data with the attendees as well. And then it's as simple as clicking the bottom button to submit your session. Again, you can submit up to five talks. They don't have to be on the same topic area. They can be varied and it goes through the same process. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please do reach out on our social media websites, Twitter and LinkedIn. I look forward to seeing all of your talks, all of your submissions and good luck with the voting process. See you soon.